watching porn, it can literally have the same effect on your brain as drugs can do. So when I found that out, I'm like, I can't believe it, Jesus. I can't believe it, Jesus. I truly, really, really do want to just completely go celebrate. I just want to be pure as fuck. God said you're in Hoes sick that I'm colder, but they older. What? You just not that bitch. That's what I had told her. Bitch, they yeah. prayed on my downfall as a seed, but I was born a boy, baby. Trust and believe I handle any bitch that got a problem. Little dog turned big dog. They can't hold me. Can't. Bringing up my past just to show you really know me. Oh, yeah. What's poppin', Divine Dimes? It's your boy Ashley Yor, and welcome back to the Hill Tricks. This is definitely a trigger warning video. It is a trigger warning throughout this whole video. So if y'all were sensitive to certain topics or a certain type of assault things or being taken advantage of or just any type of things like that, click off because it gets deep. That's the only way I know how to get it out is to tell the truth, so. But baby, healing ain't always pretty, but you gotta talk about the gutter shit to heal. So, let's just get straight to the video. Pretty much, I've been dealing with pornography for a while, and it started, if you see my testimony video, to pretty much go a little bit before that happened, this is what happened. So pretty much before I was sexually assaulted, he did have us watch like porn. So he put on like some straight porn and we just watched that. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much how it started. So my whole thing with porn is just a simple fact that it's not even something that I looked up on my own. It's not even something that I was like, oh, okay, well, let me just go look and see what this is about. Like, you know, on my own. Just like my other testimony, it's just something that was put onto me. Something that just turned into something that was really hard for me to get rid of. Something that turned into pretty much a coping mechanism. A very unhealthy coping mechanism. Pretty much been dealing with that since then. Um, I think a few years later because I didn't necessarily like have my own phone and stuff like that. So I wasn't just getting back on the computer like looking at it a lot. But sometimes I did. It just amazes me how many people, especially men, really deal with watching porn and i was watching the video and it was just telling me so much different stuff like watching porn like over the course of years and a long time in general it can literally have the same effect on your brain as drugs can do so when i found that out i'm like damn oh, i can't believe it jesus i can't believe it jesus I like it can really fuck your medulla up Porn is so potent that it can damage and rewire your brain in the exact same way drug addiction would. Porn addiction can negatively impact a person's ability to feel sexually satisfied with their partner due to desensitization and can even distort their view of intimacy. The more exposure to porn, the more it's extremely difficult to quit the addiction because your brain is now wired to crave it constantly, the same way a person may crave a McDonald's cheeseburger or a hit of cocaine. Not in that particular order. Oh, so, I'm officially leaving porn in 2023. It's to the point, y'all, it doesn't even satisfy me anymore. It doesn't even give me what it used to give me. And I just know that I'm like really ready to heal because I'm not even fucking with it anymore. I really more so yearn for a deep, genuine connection with somebody and then to have sex. If y'all watch my video on my, um, oh, I didn't even post a video yet. I'm coming out with another video on my Airs to Your channel talking about my partially celibate for a year journey as well. So like I've been pretty much celibate too, but I still do watch porn and stuff, you know, and do the do because I don't want to add any more bodies, but I'm just officially ready to like really just let it go. Let that shit be in the past. It's not even me. It was something that was put on to me as a kid and I'm just ready to really let it go. I feel like it's a hindrance, alters your decision making. It just does so many negative things that's like, damn, bitch, I'm literally self-harming myself and I'm self-sabotaging myself into doing something that I know I don't got no business doing. And it's time to heal from it. I am officially leaving pornography in 2023. Now, masturbating is a different thing. I really want to leave masturbating in 2023 too because it's just not giving. But especially porn. I really do feel like porn is sent from the enemy. It's not even real. Like, watching people have sex is actually fucking crazy. You gotta be ashamed of yourself, nigga. Real talk. You gotta be ashamed of yourself. All as you is. Like, go get your own, go get your own ass. Like I said, I'm just ready for a real genuine connection for me and my man to be doing it for real. I'm just ready to heal. I really hope this encourages somebody else to really be done with porn and leave that 2023 as well. Start a new positive healthy habit. Start a new positive coping mechanism. And take your power back. Take that shit back, bro, because we're not supposed to be doing that. It's making money off us watching porn and OnlyFans, all this weird shit going on, y'all. Like, let's get back to reality. Let's get back to real life. Let's put these phones down. Let's really 
get into a healthy way of handling our sexual urges. I truly, really, really do want to just completely go celibate. And I don't want to do anything with anybody. I don't want to do anything with myself. I just want to be pure. I just want to be pure as fuck. Pure as I can be, honestly. God said you an So that's really what I'm looking forward to, y'all. That's what I'm starting. This is the new journey that I'm on. Like I said in a few other videos, like I've done social media detoxes, I've done not smoking detoxes, fasting, I was a vegan for a year and a half, like I've done so many different fasts, but it's just like, I want to give y'all updates about this because I'm really serious about it, and yes, I really, really hope I inspire somebody and we can be on this journey together virtually. So like, comment, and subscribe, let me know what y'all think about this video, let me know if y'all have any similar experiences. Let's just make it a safe space in the comments because it's too much negativity in the world to not be positive. So let's make it a safe space. I hope you keep your vibration high on this high vibration day as you should, period. And to be continued. I'm sick that I'm colder, but they older. What? You just not that bitch. That's what I had told her. Bitch, they prayed on my downfall as a seed, but I was born a boy, baby. Trust and believe I handle any bitch that got a problem. Little dog turned big dog, they can't hold they me. Can't. Bringing up my past just to show you really know me. Oh,